The truth is, I wish I could worship him. And these are brethren in Christ. These are sons of God. See how they are running and they can even fall. And Many church members are killing the apostles. Stop worshiping your pastors. Our father, let's appreciate our father. Don't appreciate me. Don't appreciate who am I? I'm not saying this in a spirit just to, trying to be humble. I'm saying it because that's what it is. When man steps in, God steps out. You must be extremely careful to give God what is due him. If today is the first time you are watching me, I go by the name Flamboyant Lifestyle. All I do is talk about what is happening in the church fraternity and pastors who are trending. A lot of Christians have made they are so-called pastors, God on this earth, and they are worshipping him day and night. Some people even lie on the floor for the pastor to pass upon them. It's very pathetic. We have to treat pastors with respect and humbling ourselves to them, but not to the extent of worshipping them. Some people go to the extent of even letting the pastor to detect what to do with his life. That's very pathetic. If you're a Christian, just know that the pastor is like you, but the pastor has devoted him or her time to read the Bible, to understand it to a certain level in which you can also do it. Whilst you stay home or whilst you dedicate your time reading the Bible, you can reach the level in which the pastor has reached. Because the Bible has made us understood that any person who has accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior is anointed. So your pastor is just not anointed. You are also anointed. It's just because your busy schedules and certain things is taking much of your time. So you don't have time to read the Bible. I'm going to show you a very pathetic video from Pastor Chris Jr. who was trying to let us understand that he likes to worship Pastor Chris. Pastor Chris. Dare to believe his words. You know, when we share things like this, when we share fundamental truths of this nature, there are some skeptics and some critics who we're used to by now who think we're worshipping a man the truth is I wish I could worship him I will pause and take that again the truth is I wish I could worship him you see what about a little bit for you because he is worshipable <laughs> <laughs> God have mercy for us. I know you finished watching this pathetic video and you are shocked. Don't be shocked. This is what is happening in our churches. And it's very, very heartbreaking. The glory and the thanksgiving that we have to give to God. Men are giving it to men. The Bible has made us understood that we should not worship any other God apart from only God because He is a jealous God. So do you want the wrath of God to come upon you by worshiping your pastor? You have to be very careful. Just give praise and thanks to God only. And just respect your pastor. That is really accepted. Do you even know that the pastor has been saved? You don't even know. And you are so called worshipping him and giving him all the glory and the thanksgiving that you have to give to God. If any pastor has not really accepted the water baptism and the spread gospel, that pastor don't even deserve to preach the word of God. Because what is the pastor saying? He's going to talk about materialistic things in which is going to arouse your appetite for getting things on this planet but not having the love of god within you so you have to be very careful be very careful and know who you are in christ and don't give the glory and honor that god deserves to a mortal human i'm going to let you watch another video from dr Ibadamna. he reacted i remember when he used to preach the materialistic gospel because it was about showmanship how many of you know the materialistic gospel is about showmanship you line up escort car you line up pilot car two three cars two three cars you are in the middle and then sometimes the protocol will have to come out and be running with their legs and be running with their legs and you're inside the car and these are brethren in christ these are sons of god see how they are running and they can even fall and then you come out of the car like a superstar you bring out one leg first you know there's a you, you have to learn it you bring out one leg first you stretch your head, then the photographer will snap it so that they see the kind of car you're coming out from. Then you come down. Then they snap another one. They see the line of cars you are standing by. Then you take another step. And you put the legs in a way where the shoes can be captured. Because the shoe is part of the ministry. 
is a total showmanship that useless, useless, smelling gospel called prosperity gospel. Showmanship, oppressive, and fraudulent. I really agree with what Dr. Igodam now said. That's very true. It's very, very true. So just be wise in your thinking. Know who Christ is and just stay in the path of Christ so that those pastors will never lead you astray. I'm going to show you a large video from Reverend Funke. That's why I keep telling people, please, for God's sake, don't kill us. Stop kneeling down to talk to us. We are not God. In our culture, you kneel down to greet people. Yes, kneel down and stand up. But why would you kneel down and be speaking to a fellow human being? You remain on your knees and you are speaking to a fellow human being whose nose whose breath is in his nostrils who can go to bed and not wake up who can give an appointment for 11 o'clock and quarter to 11 is dead don't worship us many church members are killing their pastors stop worshiping your pastors greet them and stand up and speak to them we are fellow human beings. We were taken from among you. This pulpit can kill. You can finish committing adultery and still come back and fire is coming out of your mouth. I don't respect your charisma. I prefer character. We cannot afford to mess up. Any pastor that sleeps with church member needs to visit the psychiatric hospital. It is a huge trust. Women, listen. Don't go to a church where you are abused. Where the pastor tells you he must sleep with you before he prophesies. When the pastor tells you, the Lord said to me, I should lie on you like Elijah laid on that child to prophesy. It is not right. Don't be gullible. It's a huge trust. One woman, she was so heartbroken and she broke my heart too. She came to the, to the pastor for counseling because her daughter was messing up and the, the pastor said, oh, let her come in. And she sat at the reception praying in tongues and believing God that God's word will hit that girl. And while she was praying, the pastor was sleeping with the girl. It is not right. God is watching payday is coming he that sees in the secrets he knows how to reward people i tell people regularly don't be deceived by my jeans or my trouser jeans don't be deceived by my makeup i got born again 36 years ago when it comes to spiritual things my head is correct don't be deceived because you see lipstick when it comes to the things of god i know what i'm doing all of us cannot remove earrings from our ears all of us cannot wear turtle neck. I've been there before. For 10 years, I didn't wear jewelries. No makeup, nothing. If you see my wedding picture, you will cry for my father. <laughs> I got my, my dress from England, but in those days, you are enjoying now. You, your pastor's wife must inspect your wedding dress. So when my pastor's wife saw my wedding dress, she said, Sister Funke, you cannot wear this because souls are perishing. I see souls have not been perishing before I was born. Our souls still not perishing. We still still not perish. So she now made me one cocoa sack. Pneumonia scarf veil. Can you imagine on my wedding day, no makeup, nothing. The first time I put on a tiny earring, my husband said to me, you look like a woman. And many homes are destroyed today, not because of the devil. You say, Satan, it is you. The devil says, I don't even know the the address of your house so for 10 years it was a man that was married to a man i dressed to please only three people on earth the almighty god let god be pleased no matter who is offended i dressed to please number two my husband and i dressed to please myself every other person is a noise of the market i know you finished watching this video a lot of pastors who call themselves pastors are not really pastors and they are tarnishing the image of christianity you have to be very careful. Be very, very careful. I'll repeat it again. Be very, very careful. It's not all pastors that you have to listen to them. Some of them don't even know Christ. Some of them don't even know the way to Christ. They don't even know that 
they have to let you accept Christ. All they know is just to tell you that, oh, come, God will prosper you. God will give you this. God will give you that. God has finished doing everything for us. If you need something, go for it. Use your common sense. Be among smart people and get what you want. Surround yourself with good friends. you get whatever you want on this planet. And I've told some of you this a lot of times. And I've said to our church pastor, when I walk into a place I'm hearing, next to our father is here, it irritates me, Dr. Chidi. It irritates me. It's like they are killing me. Our father, let's appreciate our father. Don't appreciate me. Don't appreciate who am I? I'm not saying this in the spirit, just trying to be humble. I'm saying it because that's what it is. When man steps in, God steps out. You must be extremely careful to give God what is due him. I get to, and I've told them several times, stop, you are killing me, it's me you are killing, when I walk in, keep quiet, I'm like every other person, let him honor me, let what he will do, honor his grace on my life, he must increase, So when I see all the testimony, we want to celebrate the grace of God upon our Father. I understand you honor, but you must be careful so that man does not become God. You must be careful to know when to draw the line. Am I speaking to someone right now? Our Father, while we are praying, our Father just walking. What is that nonsense? We are praying, our Father just walking. That's, that's not honor. That's murder. That's murder. And that's high service. But most those who say, Father, just walked in are not really sons or daughters. By that character. If you honor your father, you will protect his life. Even if he likes it and you know it will kill him, you will not bring it near him. There are some things my wife will tell me. Sir, if I'm in the flesh, oh God. But she would tell me if you are arrogant, if you're, but no, I'm quiet because she's saying what will help me. When the, sometimes you see me walking, mama is talking to me. You know she's telling me, why are you late? You are not being a good example. Why are you late? On, I'm like, sorry, sorry. She's not here. I'm saying it. Why are you just coming now? I said, I was praying for so. So can't you pray later? You know some of you will say, what, 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 what? that has become a quarrel. That that minor you are so petty. Who gave you wife? Who gave you wife? Petty men can't make good husbands. Petty men, petty, petty, petty. Petty men can make good husbands. Little thing, you see, reason. This one, you read me. That one, you read me. The wife stop, you read me. Ah, ah. Nobody should talk to you in your life. I know my wife is uncomfortable, sir. <laughs> I, know, sir. I know she's uncomfortable, I'm saying this, but I'm not. Sometimes she also I'll say, it's okay. I'm here now. He said, why are you late? Marry a woman that can ask you, where are you coming from? If you've not repented, please repent. That's the most important thing. After watching this video and you are still going back to so-called worshipping your pastor, it's up to you. But the most important thing is to repent. 
because the kingdom of God is at hand. If not really accept Jesus Christ, accept Jesus Christ, believe in the water baptism and the spirit gospel. That is the holy gospel. That will let you know that you have hope in Christ. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you another time.